history ni heavy mpaka nasikia na need extra energy wacha nipige tu juice Mm. Wadao The year is 1982 1982 mwaka imeanzaanza kuna barracks ya wanajeshi pale wa Air Force inaitwa Laikipia Air Base Laikipia Air Base kuna majama wawili wako hapo One of them ni senior sergeant Pancras Oteo Hayuko peke yake Hakuna mjamaa hapo kando. Huyu jamaa ni nani? Huyu jamaa ni jamaa anaitwa Lieutenant. Lieutenant Combo. Wako hapo wawili wanajiuliza, "Bra, hii serikali tukaichukua. Tunaweza shindwa kuiran?" Of course. Oh. Combo anamwambia Buda. Na George nangu ni Combo but mimi nakuwa straight na hii serikali Buda hautaamini. Hii kitu tuna hii tunapiga tunayapiga deadly so ungetel hawa se wawili kuna vile the government of the day haiko ina wabamba eh, at the helm at the time was one eh, marehemu president daniel toroiti charap moy five years into power five really no four 78 to 82 yeah only four years he was a likable person why these two felt the need to overthrow his government nobody knows at that, at that particular time moy alikuwa too sour So wanaambia na you know what let's have this discussion but put a pin on it now wacha tufanye ma 1212 then tuta revisit this story Senior Sergeant Pancras Oteo anapata eh, ka assignment kidogo anafa atoke eh, like ya eh, air base akuje ofisi yao ya Nairobi ambayo ni gani Moi Air Base isili So anakuja, anatoka la ekipi, anakuja Nairobi, anaingia pale Moi Air Base, anafanya ma errands, errands kidogo hapo, but before amalize, anaingia kwa ofisi fulani hapo. Akiingia kwa hiyo ofisi, anapata a young chap, ameketi tu mahali kwa ka desk kake, hana pressure, but ni kijana chipukizi, anakatua kuna life maze in him. The boy ako tu sawa. But something catches the attention of Pancras Oteo. Napenda vile mmenyamaza. I love it. So written on this gentleman's desk. Hapo juu vizuri amekava. I think amekava na wembe vile tulikuwa tunapenda kukava vitu tukiwa primary. Mnakumbuka hata high school kwa desk ameandika hapo I am the next president of Kenya. So Pancras Oteo sees that in a hit. Oh ho. Ile maneno tumekuwa tukiongea na Leslie Combo. I think this gentleman anaweza kuwa in sync na sisi how about i engage him so senior sergeant Pan- pancras oteo talks to the gentleman anamuzaniaje una filaje juu ya story ya gavani ni nini na the gentleman anafunguka na mwambia you know what me nataka tu yani ata 10 minutes tu ndani ya serikali bro nirekebishe naweza buda buda watu wanaenda kufurahia akamwambia you know what stars the mail line ndio ina namba yangu uko uh, job mali na kuaga like ipia let's have a chat this young gentleman was a guy by the name senior private hezekiah ochuka kijana barubaru kijana mdogo lakini ni boy amejiamini kujituma mbaya so of course wana pancras hotel na rudi like ipia base anaambia Leslie Combo ni aje nimepata cha, cha fulani pale anaitwa Ezekaya boy anakanika kwa game unaona aje si tu actualize kitu so wanaanza ma discussions wanapiga discussions discussions wana come up mpaka na jina ya cup wako na kachama hii chama yao inaenda kuitwa hivi that is your assignment wa kurugenzi nitaka muende hapa kwa comments muniambie hiyo chama yao watu ilikuwa inaitwa namna gani so kidogo kidogo before long meetings zinaanza so wana meet wapi Nairobi base of operation inasetiwa mahali in the heart of Umojawan estate so wasio nakutana pale Nairobi wanaanza ku discuss even ndio tutakacheza even ndio tutakacheza even ndio tutakacheza but maze some somewhere katika these negotiations after like two, three months they discover one thing most of the things tunaongea hapa kidogo kidogo tukitoka kule nje other colleagues huko ndani wanaanza kutuuliza eh hey, nasikia mnapanga eh hey, nasikia kuna Meaning kuna mse wetu hapa anatupeana. There's a mall. 
na kitu kama hii ni so delicate buda uwezi panga treason na kuna tu kimbele mbele yako hapo it's normal so hezekiah ochuka the young man akasema mazee siwezi endelea cooperate hivi so alichukua tu sukani hiyo kitu akaambia pancras senior sergeant pancras oteo na leslie combo yo cheki mimi ndio nashughulikia recruitment moving forward sababu mazee squad imenanileta ileta hapa ni wasea waaminiki how come tunaongea vitu hapa tunaanza kusikia stories baadaye can't have that <laughs> hezekiah ochuka anatoka nairobi anakuja ku camp na kuru county na kuru oye <laughs> bas <laughs> anakuja ku camp na kuru county the guy ana identify to wase unajua na kuru county iko tu sawa la net barracks iko hapo akitaka kuingia na nyuki kuna back route mahali like it's a central place so anaanza ku recruit wase pole 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 so tactic ilikuwa aki identify himself on wewe kuna village yetu nasikizana anakuita kwa bar kwa bar anakuuzia sera ukiingia box anakupandisha juu kwa lodging anakuapisha sababu now this is a government we are forming so now i understand why bars and lodgings go together <laughs> sababu bar ni ya kumarinate mtu alafu lodging ni ya kumkula kitu oh no kiapo okay ah 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 no ah nani msikue hivyo kiapo unaharibu show na ndio imeanza So before long Hezekiah Ochuka ashaunganisha kikosi. So he needs to go back to Nairobi na a report kwa mabeshte zake akina Pancras na kina Leslie ni aje eh, the work is done. But before end Nairobi ana make one stop. Wapi? La Net Barracks in Nakuru bado. Pale kuna kikosi inaitwa the 81 Tank Battalion. In case unajiuliza tank ni nini, sio roto ile ya mnayakanga maji. No, tank ni kifaru. Unajua kifaru? ile na kuaga na tires za chain na iko na kibunduki kikubwa hapo mbele 81 tank battalion ya Lanet kazi yao ni very important tukianza kuchachisha pale Nairobi nyinyi take hold of Nakuru who can guess why why Nakuru why not El Bagon ama Baringo ama why iko msema msema state house kumtu anasema state house lakini ajiamini yes siku na moyo alikuwa na maskan pale yeah so nakuru ilikuwa very pivotal hiyo hiyo lazima we must own that na wale wase tunawategemea maze kucheza hiyo namba ni the 81 tank battalion of lanet barracks hapo tunakuru tao so kila kitu iko sawa ashaongea na watu wake wa tank ashaongea na mavijana pale sasa tunakuja kutambariza washapiga research wamejua 3rd of august my birthday month <laughs> my birthday month yangu inakuaga na swara 3rd of august the then president daniel toroitic arab moi akona a eh, trip wapi tripoli libya sababu anaenda huko ku a meeting ya organization of african unity hiyo time ilikuwa inaitwa oau squeeze ni au So akajua that would be the best time to hit when the president is away. So kila kitu ikapangwa sasa sawa, boys, gentlemen, we hit pale 3rd August. Na kuna kurudi nyuma. Lakini kuna ngori. Mnakumbuka wakati walikuwa wanapanga hizi mikutano pale umoja. Si kuna mjamaa hapa kidogo kidogo ilianza kususpectiwa. Ah, story zetu bana zinatoka nje. Yo kumbe news ilitoka hapo and somehow ikajipata kwa ofisi ya the then special branch which is now NIS National Intelligence Service so pale mazee kaende kafikia intelligence officer fulani anaitwa Joseph Kiburu if i'm not wrong but jina yake nickname ilikuwa Bart B E R T akaambia mazee yo kuna wase wa air force mazee kuna vitu wamepanga na CFT I think these guys are planning to take over the government. Itakuwaje buda? Ninyi ndio NIS, ninyi ndio wase wa Intel. Tunawaambia ndio mfanye kile mnafamfanye. So of course quick fast. Eh eh eh, eh but 
akakimbiza news kwa mdosi wake mdosi wake was a very very famous guy alikuwa ni mysterious mysterious guy famous but mysterious alikuwa anaitwa James Kanyotu James Kanyotu ndio alikuwa the head of the special branch so but akaenda pale akamwambia eh Arif nasikia mazee ma rumors kwa corridor how watu wa air force si waone vizuri i think wanataka ku take over gava so Kanyotu akamwambia very nice na kupatia authorization chukua gari hapa quick fast kimbia HQ yao ambayo ni gani laikipi ya barracks huko laikipi ya airbase enda wekelei ripoti kwa meza toka hapo na hao culprit hao tunataka tuwafunge sisi wenyewe kama police eh kuja nao will arrest them any eh, support you need utaget kutoka kwa their seniors tutaongea na watu wa air force mkifika msisumbuliwe au watu wote wa ukotwe waekwe ndani but anatoka Nairobi na kikosi yake ndogo they go to Laikipia ya airbase wanafika kwa mlango wanagonga pale mdosi anawafungulia ni aje eh tumekaa maze ku ripoti nikoshua mdosi wangu kanyoto wamekuambia kuna wasawa air force wanapanga kugeuza serikali sisi hatutakubali hiyo no hiyo bad hiyo bad So jamaa Air Force anamwangalia kwa macho anamwambia okay first of all hii story naisikia na wewe huo mdosi wako alikuwa anafanya chapie mimi sijaona simu yake but do hivi kuna jamaa anachoma mahindi pale kwa gate kula mahindi mbili tatu nifanye two investigations kidogo tu alafu nda kuita usirudi home no maintain tu pale kiasi i'll call you back so but anatoka pale nje anapatia jamaa time so i don't know what transpires inside But by the time Bart is being called back inside vitu zime change huyu jamaa ameharibika akaambia Bart fanya hivi I hope uko na fair Buda toka hapa na ukwenda kabisa nikikusikia hapa siku ingine wewe tutakosana mbaya sana yani maboys wetu wacha sisi tuta deal nao hiyo kierere uko nayo peleka uko sisi ushai kutuona tunaingilia mambo ya police toa hiyo kipara hapa you who are you kana kabisa so But lives like Kipia Airbase a very disappointed man. Jumaze ni kama wasea waoni magnitude ya kile inaenda kuhape na hapa. Like these guys are literally taking over the government. Mbona nakaa ni kama mimi peke yangu ndio na shughuli. Kwani hii country ni yangu. So akarudi pale mta. Akaambia eh mdosi wake James Kanyotu. Umenituma huko bana aso amenifanya mbaya wamenifukuza huko kama umbwa. Na kuja kuambia vitu important wananiambia nitoke kwa afya zao. So to be really honest my hands are tied I don't know what to do. James Kanyoto anamwambia worry no more. You know why? I got you. Yeye yeah, mazee na president Moi wanaongea gani ka vile mimi na Luku Baridi Jesse tunaongea anga. Yaani uh, quick quick. So Kanyoto anasema sawa. Let me find mzee. Nimwambie niaje kuna mavinyangarika hapa wanataka kumfanya mbaya. So wana agree sawa. At this time We are approaching Tare Moja so it's 31st of July 1982 Of course kama mnapanga ngori alafu nyinyi ni wa Laikipia ya Airbase alafu mtu wa intelligence atoke all the way from Nairobi akuja Laikipia ya Airbase ku, an, kusema tumekujia hawa watu fulani sababu wanapanga ngori na nyinyi mko kwa hiyo barracks mtakosa kujua hiyo ripoti kweli Hamwezi kosa so of course on that very day Pancras Oteo Leslie Combo as the mastermind walikuwa shaambiwa ni aje tunasikia vitu hapa nje mnapanga panga vitu form so of course wakajitoa kwa ngori hapo haraka haraka but after watoke kwa hiyo ofisi walienda tu mkutano next hapo wakaambiana yo unaona wasiwa shanza kutushtuka so iki tu lazima tu actualize na jo tulikuwa tumesema tutaipiga third na tutaipiga third tunaipiga second so kesho ni no is it second or first first which will be on a sunday So kesho buda tunaipiga. Another reason why our say waliamua tu let's just do it anyway ni sababu ile safari ya president Moi ili kansoliwa. Libya, Tripoli, unajua so walikuwa wanatuma confirmation hizi ma meetings za OAU. So confirmation zisipokuja fiti wanaona hatuna quorum so meeting ina push you mbele. So the meeting that was to be held on 3rd of August 1982 had been pushed. So ah, kama reason ilikuwa inafanya tungoje ni Moi kuenda na haendi. Si tutambarize hiki tu ipigwe kwani iko nini so wakaita na meeting hapo quick fast ikasemekana ni aje leo nitare ngapi 31st midnight itakuwa tare ngapi 1st august 1982 is going down wanaenda wanaassemble Nairobi 
wanapanga mikakati. First order of business ni kuingia embakasi barracks. Kuna telecommunication equipment. Iko embakasi barracks, sophisticated. Hiyo ndiyo ya kwanza kwenda chini. Maliza communication kwanza. Number two, tunenda tuchukue the voice of Kenya. Okay, watoto wa 2001. <laughs> what you know as KBC was initially No, it was KBC initially. Then somewhere, I think after independence or something, it changed to VOK. So by the time tunapiga hii story ni tuko VOK then eventually kakami kakua KBC so at the time ni VOK so hiyo ndio ilikuwa second of the order of business tunateka VOK tunaingia huko ndani na tuna G announce sijui kama hii kitu inakaa familia pale 2007 muna relate so tunaingia KBC VOK na tuna G announce sisi ndio tume take over serikali hapo tuko sawa very good third order of business kuna jamaa anaitwa um, eh Copro Copro Njereman Copro Njereman wewe tunakutuma huko kwetu like pia airbase i want you to commandia two f5 fighter jets kuma hizo ndege quick quick kuja mpaka state house nairobi bomb hiyo kitu ingia pale gsu headquarters ruaraka bomb hiyo kitu then rudisha ndege wapi like ipia airbase wewe kazi yako itakuwa imeisha njeremana ko game 100% buda niko ndani ndege nakimbiza wapi kwanza state house eh alafu na sawa e, lakini mzee tukibomb state house wewe ukiingia pao utakuwa na uparetia kencom <laughs> unataka kuoperetia kencom But yo it had to be done. Lazima state house ifanye nini ilale. So Njereman ako sawa. Ya shakimbia like ipia airbase ako standby anangoja tarehe moja kachache. Sasa ikakuwa ni ule wakati wa twende kazi. Imefika midnight saa moja I mean tarehe moja August 1982. Midnight imegonga, majamaa wamekutana. It's about to go down. Kimbia embakasi. Quick fast embakasi barracks commandia vehicles land rovers zinatolewa huko kweli wase in charge of transport huko embakasi wanashanga kwani tulikuwa na training usiku wame why why what's happening kidogo telecommunication equipment chini gone hiyo kwisha malandi zinatoka tu malandi zinatoka sasa ni kuji split wa kuenda wapi waende wapi wa kuenda sijui VOK waenda VOK wa kuingia moy airbase huko kuenda kutafuta weapons wa, waende plan iko in motion. Wada unataka tukule pause. Hapa kwa story tushaingia midnight ya tarehe moja Agosti. Piga rewind wewe. Usiingie tarehe moja. Rudi hapa 31st. Jioni jioni. Kitu kama saa ngapi? Saa 11 saa 12 saa moja. Kuna kijana barobaro ako town hii kitu. Imembamba deadly imemnuance wanakata hii kitu oh nimedanganya hii kitu ni enzi yetu eh so yeye alikuwa hii kitu alikuwa hii kitu imembamba deadly ah imemshika system but ikafika idha fulani hapo saa moja saa moja akaambia maarifu wenzake hey chief ah. wa najua leo ni saa tu usiku lakini ah vile nasikia Mm-mm. wacha niingie mtaani nifanye nini nipumzike Nyinyi kateni mziki mpaka asubuhi. Haina pressure. Mimi wacha nielekee nyumbani tafadhali. Vile nasikia ah nimekata maji ya kutosha, nimekatika ya kutosha. Wacha niende nipumzike. Na mabesta wanamwambia ina mambo buda, wekimbia rest. Anaingia nyumbani mapema, wanakula sapa yake na wife vizuri na wanaenda kulala. Wakiwa wamelala saa sita usiku si inafika. Amelala wapi? Ngara. Hapo ndio jamaa wetu anaishi. Ngara. Akiwa amelala hajui embakasi kuna chacha. Maland Rover zinatoka kwa barracks. Yeye ni civilian. Hana in fact. Watu lale. Watu wanajipanga 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 kidogo kidogo majamaa wanaingia tao wale wa embakasi. 
wanaingia tao wanaenda wanachukua mtu mahali wakichukua huo mtu mahali wanamwambia kuja nataka utuonyeshe mahali huu kijana wa hiki tu anaishi akawatoka tao teke 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 mpaka wapi ngara mahali jamaa amelala jamaa sasa imefika mida ya saa kumi na nusu asubuhi ama jamaa wamekuwa waki eh hiyo usiku eh fire saa kumi, sa kumi actually kielekea 5 milio uko nje so unajua ukiwa ngara wasewa kitambariza kama kuna ku, 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 kama, kama mambo kalikuwa kashanza ku happen moy air basis li wakianza kukuja kuja ai by the time wanafika kari yako si mnasikiza vitu mkiwa ngara so ni pa 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 kana chacha kana chacha so wife wa um jamaa wetu alamuita mza eh hey, arif ni mimi ama unasikia ni kaambia bana wewe we tulia najua ni wa makarao wanakimbizana na wagondi ah wewe usikuwe na pressure hizi vitu zoo happen wewe rudi la rudi lala ah dakika hata mbao zinaisha kwa dirisha yake fungua hapa eh hey. anaamka na shindwa Mimi kumbe ndio jangili all this time. <laughs> ah. So wife wake ame panic hapa kando anashindwa yo rada. Akamwambia wewe tulia eh wacha ni nijue ni, ni nani. Akauliza tu unajua ufungua kitu mlango kiolela olela. Akauliza yo nani anabisha? The other side akasema ni wainaina dereva wa KBC. Ah. Babe ni wainaina. <laughs> O jamaa amekuja mapema na anagonga dirisha na nguvu na mimi hata sifai kuwa naingia kazi saa hii. Si taarifa ni six bana. So jamaa wetu ameamka amepiga guanda zake hapo pajamas nini ametoka amefungua. Wainaina ana sweat buckets. Yaani anakaa ni kama amemwagiliwa ile fogi ya kimende. Yaani is just sweating. Akamwambia Joe Buda ni ngori. Ni nini mbaya? Ah! Jama wetu mzee anapiga hiki kitu. Anapata mzee majama 10 armed to the teeth. Wako hapo na Kiland Rover mzee. Akapigwa tu torch. Pam. Wewe ndio Leonard Mambo Mbotela. Ah oh, ni mimi, ni mimi. <laughs> ni mimi. <laughs> Akamwambia Buda, 3 minutes, quick fast. Piga luku, ingia hapa. Aujui Jesse, nani anakupigisha na luku? Oh, okay, hiyo hiyo nimeongeza. Hiyo haiko hakuulizwa. Hiyo hakuulizwa. Piga luku wewe ingia kwa Island Rover quick fast. Tunaenda wapi? Tunaenda KBC. Na una una, una usikiuliza swali lingine wewe wewe wewe. Tafraya. So Leonard Mambo maze anaingia na piga luku hapo mbio mbio quick fast. Anatoka anarushwa ndani ya Land Rover hapo quick fast na majamaa landi ndio hao umetoka ngara ngara ukitoka ngara ukitaka kuingia tao unaonaga kuna ah hii hii ni Moranga Road hii ama inaitwa Kirinyaga Road Kirinyaga Road kuna maduka za wahindi hapa nyingi mnaziona wait ah watu wahindi kumbe wanauzanga maviatu tamu tamu hivi ah we ngoja kwanza hiki bisi itangoja buda cha tuingia hapa tupige luku maze ni ma wow, madirisha zinaikuwa chini majeshi wanaingia ndani wanatoka na maviatu 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 wamekuja wamelod maviatu pale kwa Land Rover ni nini wameingia wameketi kwa landi oya oh, ingia vio okay, quick fast buda twende tukipiga hizi ma sampling maze ma sampling Land Rover teke teke ishaanza kupanda huko Globe roundabout inashika vector ya kuenda KBC o oh, Luteni Kanali watu wa military wanagundua kumbe wahindi wakiacha maviatu kwa duka zinakuwa za left zote what the hell ah why 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 just why wa oh yeah yeah iko sawa mnaweza piga tu iko sawa yeah iko sawa thank you So we had to the two point ya Land Rover we quick fast na tujazia space hapa. Tunaingia wapi? KBC. Teke teke. Leonard Mambo Botella ametetemeka, anaenda anavutiwa kiti ka hapa. Hapo kando yake. Jamaa ameshika gani yake sasa sawa. Ni kijana barubaro. Hezekia 
Hezekiah Ochuka ana scribble kitu kwa karatasi haraka haraka anapatia Leonard Mambo anamwambia oya changamka <coughs> Amjamboni asubuhi ya leo mimi ni Leonard Mambo Mbotela na niko hapa kuwafahamisha ya kwamba kuanzia wakati huu serikali iko mikononi mwa jeshi mkuu wa serikali sasa ni Hezekiah Ochuka kila mtu anaamrishwa akae nyumbani polisi wote sasa ni raia na no. maabusu wafungwa wote magerezani waachiliwe mara moja kaambiwa soma hiyo kitu tena buda unatetemeka unatetemeka nini hao walikuja watu kama 20 mwana maskari kama 20 wale wa air force tukaingia nao pale sasa mimi sikujua kwamba yule jamaa aliyokuja pale ngara kumchukua na aliyeniuliza kama mimi ndiye Leonard Mambo Botella kumbe alikuwa ndiye mwenyewe Isaiah Uchuka na yeye ndiye aliyekuwa kiongozi wa wale ambao wanapendwa serikali yani cool leader alikuwa ni cool leader tukaingia studio kabisa sasa akachukua karatasi na kalamu akaandika andika notes zake pale akaniambia soma hivi ndio nikasoma hamjambo wananchi mimi ni Leonard Mambo Motela hii ni sauti ya Kenya na wafahamisha kwamba serikali ya mzee Daniel Arap Moi imepinduliwa na hapa nilipo niko na bwana Isaiah Ochuka na viongozi wengine kwa hivyo anasema ya kwamba tulie majumbani kila mtu akae majumbani mahabusu wote wafunguliwe na polisi ni raia polisi wote ni raia wananchi msitange tange tulieni tu nyumbani na mengi mtafahamishwa baadaye so akaisoma tena so wale wasio walikuwa rada at 6 in the morning on friday first 1982 walisikia hiyo news ya report ya Leonard Mambo akisema now the government has been taken over by Hezekiah Ochuka a senior private of the air force let me tell you guys a senior private is the second lowest rank second lowest yani <laughs> private senior private ako uko chini so unaweza tell to what of these news is spread ah, kuna ka seriousness watu walikuwa nayo wakaanza kuona okay now this is this is just stupidity but anyway we will get to that point So si ni usishasomwa kila kitu iko sawa haya nataka hapa tukule pause tupige rewind selector tena situshaingia august 1st turudi tena 31st hey, napenda vile na warudisha hii 31st eh turudi hii 31st mna kumbuka jamani niliwaambia mazee wako na first name basis na president ambaye ni senior spy chief james kanyotu james kanyotu gets a hold of president moi on 31st of July hana idea midnight ya leo ambayo ni tarehe moja kanaenda kuchacha hana idea anaambia president moi oh wa 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 bazo wacha nikwambie watu wa air force ile kitu wanataka kukufanyia buda nipatie tu ruhusa please 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 nipatie tu ruhusa wacha nikimbie like keep ya air base niweke ya watu kwa Land Rover tafadhali niweke mahali wanafaa kwa sale tuazimie stima kwanza miezi tatu before hata tuanze kuongea sababu hao watu wanaenda kukufanya mbaya so ungetel from the way Kanyotu was speaking alikuwa ameona he ikitu is normal but president moi cool calm and collected this is 1982 who ajanza kuko ule moi si tulikamkujua Uni boy to true alichukua serikali after founding father daddy ana pressure ako tu sawa so james kanyotu ako hapa frantic yo buda tukacheza aje not moi no moi akamwambia morio Ngumi ni mbwegze lakini kitole ni jambo. Kitole ni jambo. La 
us do this. Wewe worry mambo ya police. Worry hiyo. Military watana nao. Watana nao. Tufanye hivi, we ni wachie. Simi ndio huyo commander in chief. Unashtuka nini? Let me talk to the bosses how watu wa formaniwe. Leo ni lini? Leo ni Saturday sa tarehe 31. Ah, kesho ni Sunday. Kesho tutakuwa tunakula injili haitaweza. Monday, first thing tuna deal na watu. Monday tarehe ngapi? Mbili. Tuko na mpaka Monday tarehe mbili kweli wa kurugenzi? Hatuna. So James Kanyotu si fanya kazi yake. Moi mwenyewe amesema don't worry I got this. I got this. James akaishia. Aha. Six in the morning. August 1st 1982. Moi ni mtu wa kuamkaga saa kumi na moja asubuhi. So six ilimpata akiwa rada. We imagine wewe ndio mwenye inchi, alafu unasikiza TNJ. <laughs> unasikia nugu huko ile ikisema mimi ndio sasa ni na ujadedi unashindwa. <laughs> okay, najua mimi ni mzee but naweza kuwa nilikufa usiku. <laughs> Wapi liki nyanjui? Li Unani, niko sawa niko hai So alishangaa wait like hata kwa tu na courtesy ya kungoja hata nitoke kwa country wazi wazi tu kwa tenjeu ah ili mbo ah ili mbo first of all yosi kitu ange expect from Kenyans juu hakuna kitu moyo alikuwa amedu kufikia 1982 nothing why are you so maze ikakuwa ni crisis crisis security detail yake yote ikaitwa hapo kukakuwa na crisis meeting mazejo nasikia kuna vijana bana wa army wanataka kutufanya mbaya bana form mimi sitaka hapa ni nisikie nonsense kwa radio ati juni no naenda Nairobi now 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 hey was so security waambia chorea kwa nini ase ni military bana hii gari yako bana itapigwa kombora mbili ni hivyo tu na kuzika fanya hivi wewe tulia wacha tutafute nini APC APC wa kurugenzi ni Armored Personnel Carriers. Hizo ni zile gari ukiwa ndani uko safe. Hata mimba wezi shika uko safe. Yes. <laughs> Wacha Armored Personnel Carriers zikam tukusukume Nairobi bro. Uwezi enda na hii gari yako ni ni luxurious I know but itakula risasi. Moyo akasema uongo hiyo APC isipokuwa hapa in minute. I'm going hapo kando unajua kwa sababu ya ranks na nini kuna masoja hawaongei sana sababu wakubwa wako but pale ndani kulikuwa na jamaa ambaye alikuwa escort commander of president moi his name was elijah sumbewo elijah sumbewo anasikiza hii conversation anashindwa army guys wanataka kutake over serikali Ache, as we speak army guys wakolodwa military training sijui military sports competition so ni kina nani wana take over gava jumi army ai hapa kuna story so what does he do he calls the brother the brother lazaro sumbeiwo ako api eh, gilgil ako apo gilgil kumbuka hawa sewa kona kuru akina moyo wako na kuru pale so he calls the brother major sumbeiwo anamwambia puda nasikia mnataka kutufanya mbaya so major sumbeiwo anashindwa aje Sinasikia mnachukua serikali. Sisi. Sisi. Buda, sisi hata wase wetu wako lodwa bana. Sisi hatuko. Ndio kidogo kidogo mzee wanapiga kidogo kidogo intel 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 wana discover oh you will not believe it. Ni nani? Ni Air Force. Guy. Air Force sio anakuaga 15 Kenya mzima. I swear. We niambie mtu mmoja wa Air Force unajua. Wana take over serikali aje? Ah no that's nonsense. Tutakacheza aje sababu eh mzae ameshika nare anataka kuingia Nairobi sasa hii na, na limozini yake. Hii si itapigwa kombora tu hapa kwa barabara tumuziki. Tu Akaambia no. Ambia mzae stoke nataka kuongea na brigade ya Musomba. Brigade ya Musomba ndio alikuwa dos kwa hiyo barracks ya Gilgil atatupiga APC Armored Personnel Carrier tukimbie huko tuchukue moi teke teke tuingie wapi jiji tuone ni nonsense gani hiyo. Ho 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 kumbe ripoti imefika Nairobi 
ikapata deputy chief of general staff jamaa anaitwa Mahmoud Mohamed na hii jina Mohamed nimekuja kuiamini sana na mambo ya security pale Westgate kuna jamaa alikuwa na save mtoto ameshika rifle huyo si pia alikuwa Mohamed ah sasa nitakuwa naangalia jina za ma watchmen yeah. Ya. nani Muhammad? Oh, thank God. So Mahmoud Muhammad mazee amepata ripoti. Ase wamefanya mbaya. Wako wapi as we speak? Wako Voice of Kenya wanatetemesha Leonard Mambo huko kama mtoto mdogo. Anakimbia mahali panaitwa Kahawa Gari, Gari so, Kahawa Barracks. Ana assemble kikosi safi Mahmoud Muhammad. Fika road ni hiki tu wewe hiki tu tukielekea wapi KBC so i thought the best way is to tie as a man or as a soldier wap wanaingia huko mazee wana take positions ni nini pale ndani ya studio jamaa anakuja pia yeye hiki tu anaambia dos oh oh dos dos ah si wewe huyo ezekaya guy kumekuju nani mimi nimeona mahmud mohamed huko nje mazee na hakai ni kama anataka tupige selfie Itakuwaje hapa gadhe? So uchuka akambia maraia okay, sasa sawa. Tutoke. Pita nao watu kabisa. We are going back to Moy Air Base Isili kwenda kuongeza nini? Ammunition. Watafraya. Wacha tuingie hiyo Isili. So somehow they managed to escape kutoka KBC wanakimbia mpaka wapi? Moy Air Base. But not all of them. A few walikula marisasi hapo quick fast wakawekwa chini. Major eh, no sorry um, chief of general staff deputy chief of general staff Mahmoud Mohamed Maze amemekwe na kikosi yake mpaka KBC studio ndani wanapata Leonard Mambo Mbotela <laughs> chini ya meza ameingiza baridi kuruka wakamwambia Buda come down ka chini eh, in a few nitakwambia vile kunaenda hmm kula pause ah leo mtazikula mshibe <laughs> unaona kabla Mahmoud Mohamed aingia pale KBC mnakumbuka wakati Hezekiah Uchuka alikuwa anapanga lineup yake ya Fast 11 aliita jamaa fulani anaitwa Kano ilikuwa ni Kano lama ni I think ni Kano Jeremani akamwambia I'm giving you a very simple assignment komandia two aircraft kimbia wapi na wapi GSU. Mnakumbuka? Hmm. Njereman alienda akapata one of the pilots wenye angehitaji ku execute ilikuwa pilot mkamba anaitwa David Mutua. Au! Usi waifanya blanda na mkamba. We are loyal. Sisi, sisi Unageuza serikali na tulipa wewe utumia gili wewe waja nikwambie leo. If you are thinking mimi ni mtu nitageuka serikali yangu you think again I tell you. Mtu akamsikiza akimuuliza okay so unaniambia niingie hii F5 fighter jet. Nimekupata mpaka hapo? Yes. Ni pande hiki tu ni washa hizo engines. Ni take off. Niende mpaka state house. Niwajulie kombo la moja. Alabu Nizinuti nikule tu kona Niwajilie kombo lingine Jesus Okay 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 Aya Onje tuangule mshipi hapo sababu it's gonna be a bumpy ride Njereman and our favorite Kenyan Mayor James Mutua I lie Mayor David Mutua take off at Lakeipia Air Base at by now washapata Intel KBC has already been taken over so iko sawa twende kazi huni Njereman amefurahi anajua naenda kukuwa minister kwa serikali ya uchuka wewe David Mutua ana take off na F5 fighter jet now Mnajua nikiingia mambo ya ndege kuna jeans inaanzaga ku flow. You know that right? Very nice. Let me let me teach you some little physics. Kuna vitu zinaitagwa G forces. Who has heard of G forces? 
don't worry, I got you. Wakati unasukuma gari, mara moja tu ugonge 160 kph in like 4 5 seconds unasikiaga kitu inakusukuma kwa kiti hizo ni g forces the gravitational forces my friend wakati uko 150 uko 160 kph ile nani ile tu instant acceleration inakuweka kwa kiti at most unakuaga una experience like 2 g's hata siko sure kai nafika 2 g's vizuri but what are the 2 g's wanazipimanga hivyo 1g 2g 3g hivyo fighter jet my friend inaweza fika excesses of 6g buda hiyo nakupatia 10 seconds uzime una <laughs> out so david mutua knew this guy despite the fact that uh, he's in the air force hana experience ya fighter jets there is specialized training for pilots just to be able to handle g forces ufala agenda hiyo kitu the plane was operating at 6g's 7g's 6g's 7g's the guy ako disoriented ajui kunaendaje wakafika mount kenya wap wakaangusha bomb wakaenda hapo mbele kidogo wakaangusha ingine na wakarudi barracks by the time jamaa anaamka na shiro umetimiza nimetimiza buda Major David Mutua saved the country man. Yeah, I'm picking my coffee in Delhi. So Njereman is on the ground at like Kipia Air Base thinking, na ngoja tu simu ya Ezekaya, anipatie ministry. <laughs> He has no clue. Oh, so to Rudi sasa mali tulikuwa. Mahmoud Mohamed ame take over KBC is going down man Ezekiel Ochuka ametoka mbio ameishia mazaya amekimbia wapi Moi Airbase at that particular time kulikuwa tu na kikosi ya university students walikuwa on time Moi kabisa why i don't know Four years in government mimi sijui ni nini hiyo Moi alikuwa amefanya imeboa watu hivyo so university students at now eh ndio wanaanza kupata ripoti ah serikali imekuwa taken by the air force hawajui wamepata hii ripoti late air force washafukuzwa kbc washarudishwa moi air base sasa hii wenye wako kbc ni akina nani mahmud mohamed na hawajakuja hapo kucheza mtu wangu ulikuwa unaingia tu hapo kbc kusema ati oh moi akwe hata umalizi akwende unakula risasi yako barini na kuambia mahmud na kikosi yake ya vijana wa kahawa barracks walicheza na univ- vijana wa university na ama karao ama ma military wenye walibaki wali eh wali fraya. by the time kbc inatulia like this 300 bodies were on the street yes hiyo no folk yote mnaiona hivyo shuka hivyo chini mpaka pale kijabe bodies ju hawakutaka kujua wakati gava iko place tricky kama hiyo hakunaga kutaka kujua anyone analeta vurugu weka chini 100 of them were the military guys wa uchuka 200 were university students it's unfor- unfortunate but even to kulienda twende moi airbase uchuka sasa anataka kuanza kupiga nini simu 81 tank battalion wa pale nakuru sinilidhani tuliongea Nasikia moi yako barabarani anakuja. What happened? 81 tank battalion la net wakamuuliza, "Tuliona na kweli?" Lini? I no, I don't think so. Mm-mm. Si si hata tuko tizi, si si. Hata atuko. So now this is the time Ochuka is discovering. Oh my god. Wale wase wote wa big niliweka wanisaidia saidie. Hakuna mwenye anakam, no one. Akajua hapa kamechacha, kimeumana. Moi ako hii kitu hii kitu wewe sasa yako wapi kimende anapigwa na baridi akiingia kaingia mpaka Nairobi CBD kaenda kapiga kwanza guard of honor hiyo river road yote akiangalia ni kina nani hao wako wapi au mafala kaangalia ka assess damage ni nini ni nini ni, ni. akaingia state house but before afike Nairobi wadau kuna ska point niko nimesahau ni ile wakati nilikuwa nawapeleka kwa Njereman na, na bomu zake za state house. So, jizi bomu zikuenda na Mahmoud Mohamed ako kwa studio. Sasa ile karatasi ya Uchuka alikuwa ameandika imereplaceiwa na karatasi ya Mahmoud Mohamed ya ambayo inasema nini? Serikali bado iko kwa mikono 
mwa rais moi sasa kuna kutetemeka Leonard Mambo is a very jovial human being ako hapo mbele ya microphone anaambia wa Kenya wa Kenya nilikaa kwa hiki kiti nikawaambia serikali iko kwa mikono ochuka makosa ni yangu General Mahmoud Mahmoudi Ashafika you are hema kabisa alikuwa yanifahamu akaambia Leonard kambi yes sir get in the studio quick kambi yes sir sema kwamba everything is under control walikuwa ni vijana tu walevi wamelewa nini hawana chochote hata kupindua serikali hawana ujuzi wote watu wote wakae mtulia nyumbani mpaka tutakapotangaziwa tena lakini everything is under control sema taja mimi general mahmud na wazangu hapa kwa wananchi wa Kenya ni mimi tena yule yule Leonard Mambo Botela niliwaambia kwamba serikali mpinduliwa nimerudi tena papa hapa kuambia kwamba mambo ni mazuri mambo ni swari msikie wasiwasi kaeni nyumbani mtulie niko naye hapa general mahmud mahmud pamoja na afisa wengine wamesha komboa serikali worry no more man Mois got you kila kitu iko sawa sawa tulieni tu kidogo kwanza makops wafanye mambo yao 1212 tutawaambia vile kunaenda basically tutawapeleka na mtaratara vile inafaa ezekayo chuka acha ingia pale eh, moi airbase now it's dawned on him i have been president for this great republic for only six hours aki imechacha imekataa so he does what Njereman did in Laikipia anashika jamaa mmoja hapo anamwambia wewe washa indege wewe washa indege tunaenda wapi tunaenda Tanzania quick fast au akinishika mambo yangu kuisha so ana commandia aircraft yeye and remember the guys kutoka Laikipia airbase wale ma, wale walipanga hiki kitu pamoja akina Leslie Combo akina Pancras Oteo wanatanga mko wanaenda tuze government imekalia kiti yake vile inafaa masterminds wanaanza kuokotwa one by one one by one took a bit of time but after two actually three years july 10th 1985 pancras oteo hezekiah ochuka and 10 others walikuwa tayari washahantiwa down wakashikwa kesi yao ikasikizwa and they were all found guilty of treason punishable by death So on 10th of July 1985 those 12 were the last people to be hanged by the Kenyan government after hapo kujai hangi wa msemo mwingine other than those 300 people were dead on the street hiyo siku akitrai kubishana bishana but uh, yeah moyo alipiga press uh, conference baadaye later in the day akasema serikali iko sawa don't 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 mess with the government man to fry and that is the end of our story <laughs> Kama kawa kama dawa kama imekushika mahali na unasikia yenyewe hiki tusifai kuwa na ikula peke yangu ita rafiki yako akuje enjoy pale na of course kama imekushika system na kuna machedas masentis na kusumbua nini nini cheza kama wewe buda au <laughs> sio na watambua sana wakurugenzi you are the best i love you guys adios muchachos peace father i'm really enjoying it and mkuru you are really doing the thing and yes i feel like i've used my money properly so yeah we appreciate also the stories from way back most of us don't know what happened when the coup was taking place in 1982 interesting inspiration educational there is a lot that he's passing other than just giving stories and i think abel is doing a very great job i'm looking forward to to learn more it's it's an interesting way ya uh, ya to learn about history and stuff Yeah, I'm looking forward to to more with this. I'm happy also I've been gifted. Yeah, for coming all the way from Kisi. Um I'm so happy.